what is a Christian? Now, I know we've all heard the funny quote that goes something like, a good Christian is the guy who doesn't drink, smoke, cuss, or chew, or go out with girls who do. And I am very happy, Dad, that you've steered me clear of some of those things. But I also know that as we've studied the Word together as a family, we've learned that being a Christian is not about living some manufactured list of do's and don'ts, but really just living in a relationship with the God who loves us and gave everything for us so that we might be saved. And it's so important that we remind ourselves of this. So in our short time together, I want to remind us that Christians don't and can't earn their salvation by their good works. They don't want to remind us of how Christians really are saved, and then explain why we do good works as Christians if it's not to earn our salvation. So first of all, there's no such thing as a good enough Christian. Even Caroline's not good enough by her good works to earn salvation. Uh, and the Bible's really clear on that, that... Um, that there's nothing we can do to earn our salvation. In 1 John 1.8, it says, If we say that we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, and the truth is not in us. And this is John writing to the church. And then in Romans 6.23, it says, For the wages of sin is death. And so since each of us have sinned, um, and the wages of sin is death, really there's nothing we can do to counteract that uh, wage that, of death that we deserve. Really, Romans 3.23 says it best when it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. There's nothing we can do to earn our salvation. And so, now that I've painted this bleak picture of our standing before God, how then are we saved? And just like the Bible is really clear that we can't earn our salvation by our good works, it's also really clear that how we are saved is simply by living in a relationship with Jesus. 1 John 1 8 says um, that if we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves. But then it continues in 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, He, God, is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And then Romans 6 23 also continues For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. It's really as simple as that of just confessing our sin entering a relationship with God, and then Jesus is faithful to give us that free gift of eternal life. Romans 10.9 says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So now that we know that truth, that being a Christian is about uh, just living in a relationship with Jesus, why then do we get, do good works? Why do you, Daddy, as an elder, reach out to so many people in our church? Or Caroline, why do you uh, work at a crisis pregnancy center reaching out to so many women in need if it's not to earn your salvation? And really, Christians have great liberty uh, to do the things we desire. And it's not that we're following a list of do's and don'ts, but that what we are doing, we're doing is unto the Lord. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And that's why we do good works. It's just to show that we love the Lord and are seeking to please Him uh, and live in a relationship with Him. So as we conclude, I just want to finish with the story of a young man who got this relationship with Jesus right. It's the story of Levi Jones, who's an 18-year-old Chick-fil-A employee in Columbus, Georgia. He showed Christ's love to a homeless man outside the Chick-fil-A where he works. Instead of calling for the police or shooting the man away when he saw him shivering and cold outside the restaurant, he actually decided to meet his immediate needs with love instead. Not only did he give the man a warm meal, he even gave him his own shoes. And his quote when he was asked about this good work he did uh, is really inspiring. Levi says, I love Jesus. As his son, I am called to live and walk as Jesus did on the earth. Jesus hung around homeless people took care of people, loved on people, blessed people wherever he went. I just want to walk and live that out every single day of my life. This is what it means to be a Christian, and this is what it's all about. And I hope this talk has reminded, reminded us all of just the importance of living in that relationship with Jesus. And I hope we're motivated to keep pursuing Jesus so that we can reach out to the world with love and compassion. Thanks for your time, family.